What's up everybody? You're watching Fun with the Gun and today we're doing a full review on the Smith & Wesson 686 and we're going to be talking about just why we love this gun. So let's get this thing started. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the specs of the gun. It's got a four inch barrel, it's obviously stainless steel, single and double action, and it's only got a six round cylinder, but you know what, it's not a Smith & Wesson 686 Plus with a seven round or a TRR8 with an eight round. You know, if you can't hit your target at close range with six shots, I don't think 10 shots is gonna help you. Yeah, he's absolutely right. I mean, yeah. if you can't hit in six shots, seven or eight from a bigger revolver is not going to help out. It's not going to help you that much. And plus that you can think, maybe uh, if you conceal and carry this baby, six, you know, just having a uh, six cylinder, six round cylinder might be a little lighter for you. Definitely. Just I mean, a it's going to keep lighter. the weight down. This is a nice, by the way, nice holster. Yeah. All right, so let's transition into what we like about this gun. And first things first, balance. This gun has phenomenal balance. Whether you're holding it, you know, two-handed, however you want, or one-handed, the weight and the barrel length are amazing. All right, so this gun is so well balanced and the grip so comfortable that it's really easy to pull off accurate one-handed shots with this thing. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that. Let's do this. There you have it. 11 yards, not too bad. It's good. Four inch barrel. I, I think if it went six inch, it might be a little... Too front it, heavy. Yeah, it wouldn't, would not be as balanced. Yeah. I think that this gun is just a perfect handgun. It really is. You know, believe it or not, I can hit a target at 200 yards with this thing. Yeah, um, funny story actually, we were out shooting just a few days ago and uh, we were doing some long range. We had the AR-10 out and the AR-15. And uh, at the end of the day, while we were packing up, he pulls out this 686 and says, all right, let me take a shot. Let me take a shot, just for fun. And uh, it's a 12 inch by 12 inch steel plate at 200 yards. And he points the gun out at that thing and pulls the trigger. And on his first shot, he fires it and he hits the target at 200 yeah. yards. It was incredible. Yeah, this man I, is superhuman. No. I love the sights on this gun. It works for me. Yeah, Personally, he, yeah. I don't care for the sights as much. Um, Orange. I, okay, so I don't know if you can see it too well, but basically it's got the black backstop here and then the orange front sight. And it's okay, but I shoot a Sig Sauer P226 um, as my main handgun, and I, I much prefer tritium night sights to a uh, standard sight like this. Not to say that this sight is bad, it's just not my preference. So that's yeah. all there is to that. Well, you know, I have 66 year old eyes and my <laughs> eyes go unaided. <laughs> and these sights work well for me. Yeah, he can shoot the gun more accurately than I can, so, for sure. So I, I really like the sights. It works, works for me. I like the whole package here. The feeling of this gun, it's, it's, well, it's I wouldn't say light, but it's no. balanced, so it makes it feel light. You don't notice it as being heavy. No, it, and it's not that heavy, really. I mean, yeah. if you go online and you look at the specs, the weight's not bad. No, it's not that bad. And uh, the trigger is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I'd like it, to talk about that for a second. Yeah, here, let's do that. If because, I may. Yeah. The trigger and the action of this gun are out of this world. It is buttery smooth. It's like a custom trigger. It really is. Um, if you shoot this thing single or double action, it is very reminiscent of the Geisley trigger that I have in my AR-15. Yeah. It's out of this world how good a stock Smith & Wesson trigger really is, especially being a revolver. I don't, I can't speak for the semi-automatic Smith & Wessons out there, but oh, this I had revolver. I had, I had an M&P. Really? Yeah, I did. It was stolen. Ah, oh, man, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, before he was born, <laughs> it was stolen, but um, the trigger was 
was nowhere near as good as this. Okay. Well, but then, like most semi-automatic triggers are not that great in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. Though we'd have to make Compare, an exception for if a I'm sig. comparing. But we're not comparing here, yeah. right? We're Though I know talking. you guys are probably gonna make a comparison in your head between the revolver and a pistol, as we do. I mean, anybody who looks at this and says, you know, hey, this is a great gun, they're gonna compare it to a semi-automatic. It's in our nature. It's what we as gun people right. do. Yeah. But that's completely okay. But we're just talking about this gun in this video and what a phenomenal gun it is. But back to the action. Every little tidbit of this gun action to the trigger pull to the way that the uh, cylinder cycles is just so smooth it's like breaking a candy cane every pull of the trigger every pull of the action it's phenomenal yeah it, it also this is the thing that blows me away it it's what we call a hair trigger it feels like about a two pound pull i'm not Maybe sure not what the that. specs are but it is just such a light trigger and not just light, but definite. It's a very definite, you know where that trigger's gonna Absolutely. engage. You really do. And that's the great thing about this gun, yeah. is the trigger and all of the parts about it are so definite. You know, there's no uncertainty here. This isn't a Tapco G2 on a Sega or an AK-47. Yeah. Everything is precise here. What a fantastic gun. Yeah. It, it, uh, it really is a... So, the bad points about this gun. Are there any? I mean, we sat there for a long time when we were thinking about this video, just holding the gun in our hands, trading it back and forth, yeah. trying to think about what we didn't like about this gun. And honestly, we couldn't think of Nothing. anything. Nothing at all. Yeah. This gun has so many great features to it. I mean, maybe one thing that I could talk about is that if you're pulling that trigger quickly in uh, double action mode, it's going to wear away on your finger after a little while. Your finger's yeah. going to get tired. Mine was. Um, but you know what? you got to come to expect that with a double-action revolver. You can't expect it to be like a semi-automatic, right? So it's just all down to personal preference. I think this gun is phenomenal. As it is, uh, I wouldn't change a thing on this gun. 9 out of 10, easily, just because there's no such thing as a perfect gun. I can't give a 10. Maybe the price. Yeah, yeah, we, you know we what? We could all use something a little less expensive, right? How much did you get this for when you first bought it? Well, this gun is not my original 686. My original 686 went back to Smith & Wesson, and there's a long story there, so I'm going to make it real short. It went back to Smith & Wesson. It was uh, deemed irreparable, so they replaced the gun with this. But uh, when I first purchased, purchased it, it cost me about $389 back in 1984. <laughs> That's a huge price difference from now if yeah, you go this, to their website and look at it. This is about um, uh, probably $900, I'm thinking. Somewhere around there, yeah. eight, 900 but yeah. what a fantastic gun. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you all in the next video. This right. has been Fun With The Gun, signing off. See you at the range. Oh yeah! Let's see if I can hit it again. <laughs> oh, I, <hit> it. <laughs> I obliterated it. That's great. <laughs>